Hey guys, Kigure here, and I have another Sony Vegas Pro 8 tutorial for you guys. So I just want to talk about, uh, this in this video at least, I want to talk about editing the interface. I know I've talked about the tools and options, but I actually want to talk to you about getting used to your uh, Vegas environment and how to actually set presets for certain projects of, uh, you know, your layout in Vegas. So you get more accustomed used, uh, used to your, uh, you know, your Vegas environment. So I like mine just to be like this. A little bit more shown on here, and then of course I have this preview window. And actually, sometimes I don't even have it here because I preview it on an external monitor, which is my dual monitor. I like a lot of space for the work area and a lot of space for these tabs here. I only keep the Explorer tab, Project Media tab, Video Effects tab, Transitions, and the Media Generators. Those are really the most important to me. Sometimes I don't even use the uh, Project Media really. At, oh, I, actually, sorry, wrong one. Sometimes I really don't even use Explorer. I just kind of drag the file in. To Vegas, um, and then of course these three are very important. Um, uh, now, some people may u be used to other looks, and you know they want to drag stuff out, and you can do that if you see these six about these little six dots right here. You can easily just drag me out and pull it out like that, and have this you know somewhere else, or you can drag it wherever you want it to be. Kind of just snaps in there. You can drag it out. Same with this. You can drag this and put it somewhere else if you don't want your video effects. You can you know drag them in or wherever. And if you want to snap back in, it's as simple as that. Um, now, uh, getting more into major stuff, you may want to move around. So if I'm going to go to view, you can actually more uncheck stuff that you don't want. I unchecked uh, media gen, actually not media generators. I unchecked some stuff like mixer, trimmer, some two tabs I really don't need because it's trim, as I've showed you, or if I haven't showed you before. Um, you know, you can easily trim stuff. You don't really need that whole trimmer tool because you can easily just take a clip and snip it which is a uh, more much more easier hit s any on your keyboard anywhere and I'll snip the video into a you know trim it you don't need the actual trimmer tool so you can mess around with stuff that you don't need in here and stuff you want to keep uh to you know within view with your interface now actually you can save certain layouts so let's say you can click organize layouts here and you can mess around with the you know what you want to call it so let's say you like editing uh you know, uh, I don't know. You like editing your, you know, your, uh, what, do you, what would you call them? Like, you know, your montages in video games. Uh, when people record off their uh, little dazzles or DVR, or not DVR, sorry, when they record their, uh, you know, off their pinnacle dazzles or whatever, you know, capture cards. Um, maybe you like a certain layout when recording, uh, when editing those type of videos. Maybe you like your, you know, certain tabs to show up. Uh, you know, maybe you just want your video effects tab somewhere else and maybe you don't want all your other tabs cluttering up the place you can actually uh, save windows layouts I can go save layout as and I can name it like game layout so when I'm editing game videos and I can put the shortcut to one I can just hit OK and I'll save this layout so next time I load it it's gonna lo load up whatever way I want and you know maybe you like it when uh, this windows out when you load it and stuff like that and you don't want certain you know you can just really make it your own once you uncheck and check everything. Now getting more in depth, if you go to tools, or actually sorry, options, and then preferences, um, you can mess around some stuff here that shows some view options, but uh, all I want to get into uh, right here is, where is it? Sorry, let me look for the tab, the right tab here. Display, uh, you can mess around with your track colors, stuff like this, mess around with you know the colors of that, envelope tools for your audio, snap type, you can mess around with that. Now automatically hide docking area you can check that position tabs at the top of the dock window now here's a big one if you're used to Sony Vegas 7's interface display timeline at the bottom of a main window I'm gonna check this and then apply and if you notice the timelines at the top now some people prefer this view over the other one and if you like this view and you know maybe you like this view but you like it you know uh, stretched out down to here and you want this out you can save that layout you know and you can Maybe you want this stretched out over here, and you know I don't know. Maybe that's how you like it, and maybe you don't want this. You want this time display somewhere over here, you know, wherever you know whatever you know uh, is best for your workflow. You can save that layout. You can just go to View Windows Layout and, and you know save it, and then load it later next time you want to edit a current video like that. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to Options Preferences and change that. Dis where is it? Display. Good display. I like it. Personally, I like it at the bottom. Um, I hit OK and just snap everything back in place and adjust it to right about there. 
and put the dis time display back. Okay, so yeah, guys, that just it was just a quick video showing you on how you can actually mess around with your interface and save presets for current interface, you know, whatever way you like it, and you can mess around with stuff like take away status bars and stuff like that. So guys, I uh, hope that gets you a little bit more, you know, comfortable with your workspace environment, and hope you take these tips and, you know, uh, edit it with your Vegas or, you know, whatever editing, well, whatever version of Vegas you're using. Uh, they should go, you know, four through all, you know, seven, eight, whatever. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for listening. Stay tuned for the next tutorial and uh, more lessons on effects and stuff like that for Vegas coming up.